Good morning. Good morning. It's Susie Simonson with Design um, on Purpose. And this month we are focusing on building. So I would love to mastermind about how you are building and the design that goes into building. So the thought sometimes we build something really quick, right? Because something is needed right away. And then there's other times where we need to take the time to be able to lay the foundation, to put up the, so we prep and we plan first, then we lay the foundation, then we rough the framework. We put in the rough framework and then the drywall and design, and then we invite people to come and to, to see what we've built. And so um, I would love to encourage you to watch the strategy hour, watch the replay of the strategy hour, um, to be able to see in detail and to, to hear the masterminding that went, that went on about going more in depth about those. And so when we're thinking of designing, what comes to mind for you? When you think of designing something with a plan, so um, I typically, so with, so just to be real and raw, with my home life, I'm not much of a planner because my husband plans pretty much everything. And so I'm, I'm sure that he would prefer if I did more. Um, and so that's something that I'm working on. That's something that I'm focusing on are what are the things that I can plan? What are the things that I can do that I can prep for um, and design for our family? And just to give you a little piece of that, um, I've worked in the childhood uh childhood arena since I was eight. I've babysat since I was eight. I worked at my mom's daycare. Um, I love putting together things for kids to learn at their age and in the stage that they're at. So all, all kids are not you know, at the same place, just like adults are not at the same place. And so for our road trip out to DC, I'm actually in a hotel right now. So I'm in the bathroom of a hotel room. And um, for our trip to DC, I decided that I wanted to package up his toys so that excuse me, so that it looked like something new all of the time. So I did small Ziploc babies and large excuse me, large Ziploc babies. Um, and any time that he would get bored in his car seat, because it's it's like a 19 hour drive. So we broke it up within three days, but anytime he would get bored in his car seat, I would just pull out a new bag. And it was like something completely new. So to be able to build that adventure for him and for our family, so it kept our sanity. And then also it gave him something to do. That was something that took planning. It took prepping. It took, you know, putting thought into about the things that he likes and then mixing in some new things and all of that. So in thinking about where you are in life right now, in thinking about, you know, the things that you want to build, whether it's your family, whether it's your business, whether it's friendships, how do we build things up again where we have been for so long, we've been disconnected from each other, you know, face to face, cheek to cheek, all of that. Um, <clears throat> it was amazing to be able to go out and see my brother and my bonus sister. It was amazing to be able to be cheek to cheek. It was amazing to be able to give him hugs, them hugs, and for Knox to experience a cat. He's never experienced a cat before. It's amazing. We pick up right where we left off, and so much has changed from where we left off. And so that's something, if we're able to say, okay, our world has gone through a lot of stuff in the last year and a half. It has gone through a lot. And so how can we rebuild those connections? How can we rebuild? How can we say, okay, how do we, you know, for some people safely get together and for others, you know, I mean, for all of us to safely get together, but um, no matter where we're coming from, with um, with our choices in our family. How do we get together face-to-face, cheek-to-cheek when we need that, right? How do we design 
something that we each are comfortable with to be able to receive the things that we need. And so we, so Becky and myself want to encourage you that if you're able to get it in person and you need that, do that. And we've got this space for you to come and for you to be as close as possible to actually being in person. So how can you do that? How can you design a structure around your, around your schedule? How can you design a structure around your schedule to get the most out of the day? And we've got that for you here. We've got the structure. We've got the setup. We've got the people who are ready to encourage you, who are ready to like light everything on fire that you need lit on fire and cool off the things that you need to cool off. Um, We've got you here at OPWP. And so want to encourage you to show up. So whenever you're watching this, whenever you see this, how are you going to design the life that you love? How are you going to build the life that you love and the life that you want? Because how many times do we settle for not building, for quickly building, for not having a strong foundation, right? So let's get a strong foundation. Let's get a strong foundation with each other. Let's be here for each other because we're needed. So I need you to know that you are needed. You're needed here. You're needed in your world. You're needed in your family and that you matter. So in everything that you're doing, when you're designing, when you design today, what is today going to look like? You get to design it for all of the things that you are able to be in control of, right? There are outside things that we can't control. There are outside things that we can do our best in. We can work for the best. And then the things that we control, the things that we can control, design it, design it well, design it on purpose. And in that design, build what you want. So many times the things that stop us up are ourselves. And so I want to encourage you in that. Build what you want. Build what you need and build it strong and welcome in other people. Because Foxy mentioned in the strategy hour that a house is not built alone. A house needs the experts. A house needs the people that provide the tools the people that provide, you know, the expertise. That's, I already said that. But um, a house is built with numerous people. So it is 10 after, and I will see you um, on the flip side. I will see you at 10 too uh, for more masterminding and to see how your time went. See you soon.